What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a tournament winning Sand Rush Houndstone team. You guys are no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Houndstone is such a cool Pokemon. Brand new Ghost type released in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And, ha and it has a brand new move, which is called Last Respects. If you guys do not know what this move does, it is normally 50 base power, but every time an ally Pokemon dies, it goes up by another 50 base power. So if it's the last Pokemon standing, it will have base 150 power so it can complete some crazy comebacks and do some big damage. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Talonflame over here. Talonflame is a top tier Tailwind setter in this game due to its Gale Wings ability. It has the Focus Sash as its item, and its moveset is going to be Air Slash, Overheat, Protect, and Tailwind. Second Pokemon is going to be my favorite starter. It is going to be Skelly Dirge over here with unaware ability and the expert belt as item. It's got Torch Song, Shadow Ball for two stab moves, Protect, and then it's got Terror Blast to change into grass when you Terrasalize with this Pokemon. Third Pokemon is going to be Golden Go. You've been seeing Golden Go all over the meta, and it is pretty fair considering this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. It's good as gold as its ability, and it's got the Life Orb as its item. It's got Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Nasty Spot for a fairly normal moveset for any Golden Go. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Annihilate, another Pokemon that you guys have been seeing all over the meta, but this Annihilate is a tad bit different. It has Defiant and Choice Scarf like normal, but it's not like the Final Gambit Annihilate, where you're just going to sit there, Final Gambit, take out yourself, and take out an ally Pokemon. This Pokemon means business. It's all about attacking, it's all about getting after the battle like a normal Pokemon. It has Close Combat, it has Shadow Call, EQ, and Rock Slide. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our stamped Sandstorm Setter. It is going to be Tyranitar over here with Sandstream and a Weakness Policy as item. It's got Rock Slide, it has Crunch, and it has Protect and Fire Punch for its final two moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Houndstone. With Sand Rush and a Spell Tag, cannot really go wrong with it. Spell Tag is going to boost our Ghost Damage, and Sand Rush is going to double our speed in the Sandstorm. It has Last Respects, like we already went over, Will O Wisp to burn physical attackers, Protect, and Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this tournament winning Houndstone team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a really strong team. They're rocking Mousehold alongside Gallade. They got Amoongus, Bax Calibur, Armor Rouge, and last but not least, Sylveon. I gotta watch out for that Armor Rouge, because Armor Rouge can pop Trick Room. Same thing with Gallade, so I feel like they're gonna lead that and probably try to pop Trick Room, correct? It makes the most sense, it really does. I could go straight into my Sandstorm combo, but I kind of want to save it for the back ends when Ally Pokemon dies, so Last Respects can do a little bit more damage. So I'm all about bringing in both of these guys, but more so later in the match. Uh, who should I lead then? I really don't want to lead Tailwind. I really don't want to do that. I mean, I could. It's not too shabby, but I feel like there's a lot of better options that we can go into, such as like Golden Go is not bad. I can get down with some Golden Go. Skelly Dirge ain't bad here either. I am going to go Skelly Dirge as a nice, lovely lead, and then... Hmm. Going to go Annihilate here with the Choice uh, Scarf. I really like it. We have a lot of different options of moves we can go into. I could go into Golden Go. Golden Go is not bad here either with the Life Orb. And do some big time damage. We could set up nasty plots. I kind of like the double ghost. I don't mind the double ghost, especially if he leads to uh, the mouse hold. And kind of just get after the battle that way. So I'm all about going in that. If I go into my double ghost, mouse hold cannot hit us with population bomb. And I feel fine with that turn. I really do. But we'll see who they want to lead. I feel like they have a bunch of different options, but I feel like Armor Rouge or maybe uh, Gallade's going to come out here turn one. And I believe. Does Gallade learn fake out? I think it does actually it's hmm, i'm not too sure i'm not too sure but we'll see who they want to lead it's gonna be mouse hold it's gonna be mouse mouse hold alongside bax caliber this isn't too bad i can just send some lovely little uh make it rains out here and i could just torch song straight up so i think it's gonna be my play i'm gonna torch song on you and then this seems like a free make it rain right unless he changes typing i think i'm all about it i think i'm all about it and golden go might outspeed that bax caliber but I believe the Baxcalibur is going to end up going for a Terrasalization or even even swapping. That's why I'm going straight into a Tour Song with my uh, Skelly Dirge because I just want to start getting that special attack boost, making this Pokemon do a lot more damage than normal. So we'll see what he wants to do. Yep, there's a straight withdrawal. I'm cool with that. And he's going to go into maybe Armor Rouge. Are you rocking Armor Rouge in the back end? Let's see. It is going to be Armor Rouge. So Armor Rouge does come out here. He's going to go for an after you. What, what was that play? What was that play? Might have been a misclick. Might have been a misclick, but we do some big time damage over onto the uh, 
the mouse hold we're gonna double down into it and just get rid of it not dealing with it let's go just gonna pop a nice little torch song and we're gonna do some nice damage to that i'm all about it get that special attack boost so he's gonna be forced to probably throw back however maybe back out here maybe terrestrialize we'll see or he's gonna have to show his final pokemon and at this point i might just swap into my t-tar set the sandstorm and kind of go from there let me sylveon i don't mind sylveon being out here i really don't i can just shadow ball you down and i can just go for another make it rain i might as well go for another make it rain actually hmm i feel like he might go for a fire shot i might just hard swap into t-tar save my golden go for later i'm all about it i'm gonna swap into my uh t-tar i feel like you gotta swap into fire typing correct it makes the most sense or you can protect the sylveon and try to go for a trick room here options 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 a lot of different options so we're gonna kick up the sandstorm sylveon is going to try slice or is that the armors i believe it's the sylveon right you can't stay in there with golden go yeah going into fire type or ground ground works too ground really works who are you terror blasting is the real question Skelly Dirt's faster than you. It is. Beautiful. So Shadow Ball's flying out here. No Sash. KO. Beautiful. Actually, we already hit up that Pokemon, so Focus Sash didn't matter. We get rid of Armourouge. And what are you going for? Terra Blast? Yeah, okay. Terra Blast is flying. Probably going after my Skelly, right? Yeah. Taking out my Skelly Dirge. That's fine if it actually KOs. It does. That's totally fine. Because now I can bring out my Houndstone, who has last respect. It's going to do crazy damage, considering it is now base power 100 actually get up to 200 i said 150 in the team preview it can get up to 200 which is wild that is wild it's base 100 right now it's gonna outspeed most if he throws out a physical attacker i do want to burn it but for right now i think we're thriving here we have the spell tag as well it's gonna be back to albert probably has thermal exchange so i'm not gonna deal with that uh i'm gonna just gonna straight up terrestrialize and i'm gonna go after him i'm gonna terrestrialize into ghost Lovely little ghost and I'm a crunch. What do I do? Just rock slide for flinches, maybe? I think we just crunch and try to get off as much damage onto this thing. Or I can go double down into the back's caliber. I could double down straight into the back's caliber. Huh. What do I want to do? I still have Golden Go in the back. And I still have, uh, yeah. Golden Go in the back is going to be fine for taking out Sylveon. Actually, Sylveon straight ground. Ah, uh, what do I want to do? I don't want to just double down in the back's caliber. Let's do it. Don't protect Bax Caliber. Leave me alone. Do not protect. I'll be very upset. So we're going to go in here. I think that this last respects can KO. Considering it is going to be stab. It's going to be base power 100. And is that dark? Oh, I am dark. Change straight. That's not good. That is not good. Damage. I thought it was ghost. That's my bad. But still. Spell tag damage is KO. Does not. Doesn't even do too much damage. This is pretty bulky. We come in with a crunch. He's gonna go for an icicle spear, and that's gonna KO me, probably, right? Unless it, it, it it's gotta be loaded dice, right? Can you stop? S3. Okay, cool. It's hit three times. And what are you going for here? Hyper voice. Titar goes down, but Titar outspeeds, which is lovely. And I have weakness spots for Brock. I'm all about it. So now I can drop Brock Sides for free. KO the Bax Caliber here. Also, did not do as much damage as I thought it was gonna do. Or is it only base 50 right now? I have to check it out. It might only be base 50. Considering only one Pokemon died. I do want to check it out. He's going to pop its, uh... What is that thing even called? It's, uh... Bu -bu -bu. What the heck is that thing called? It's Throat Spray. But I want to check your move real quick. Come here. Let me check your summary. Let me go into your moves. I don't even think I can check moves. Yeah, it's stupid that you cannot check, like, the moves, what they do. In there. You can only check them in battle. But I'm just going to go into my Golden Go. This is a really close battle. I think I just had to pop and make it rain alongside with a the crunch or do I rock slide? I mean, I have weakness policy popped. Make it rain's obviously a play. Right into him and then probably just crunch this thing. Because I believe Golden Go is slightly faster than the Sitar. Which means he'll be faster all around. Oh, slightly. A lot faster. Both these Pokemon are slower. I think they're, they're made for Trick Room. I'm going to make it rain. I am going to throw this lovely crunch over onto the Sylveon. And a smart play by him would be to protect the Sylveon here just so my Make It Rain comes out here and I lower my special attack. I don't think we're sitting in a bad position. I think we should be able to pick up these KOs in this match. Let's see what he does. Let's see what our opponent wants to do here. But again, very close battle. 
Ice Charge is going to come out here. Not going to KO me. He might have, should have went after the T-Tar there. Make It Rain is going to pop here. Picking up some nice damage on the Sylveon. KO in the back's caliber. And I really do think this Crunch can KO. It's weakness policy pop. It's stab. Come on, T-Tar. I need you here. I need you here, T-Tar. T-Tar drops Crunch. GG. GG, yo. Let's go. Getting after it in battle number one. We had Skelly Dirge out there. We had Houndstone doing some work. And we grabbed ourselves a win here in match number one. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're having some fun with this one. We're going up against an off-meta Magnezone and Noivern team. Definitely want to showcase Noivern and Magnezone on the rank ladder very, very soon. So if you guys got some teams, send them to me in my Twitter DMs. We're also going up against Talonflame, another Sylveon, and then he's got Garchomp and Intimidate Gyarados. Making me want to bring Annihilate with that Intimidate Gyarados might lead that Pokemon, but Talonflame might also be a solid lead for us. Special attacking, Intimidate will not affect us, plus we could pop a Tailwind. I kind of like Annihilate for a lead, so I am going to go into Annihilate. And then I just might bring in T-Tar and uh, Houndstone again. And let me lead the, read the move. Can I read the move here? I cannot. Only when it's in battle. That is that is absurd. Let's, can I like hit A on this? No. X? None of them. You cannot read moves in a, something. Bro, in the summary? That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. They got to fix that. But I think T-Tar and Houndstone are going to be a great Pokemon for us in the back end. And we kind of roll after the battle that way. Right? Yeah. Sounds like our best bet. Sounds like our best bet. I like it a lot. I do like it. But it is good to know that we have the dark typing on our terrestrialization. I thought it was ghost at first. That's why I terrestrialized into it. I was like, let me terrestrialize into ghost typing. And we kind of just roll after the battle that way. And I get off some more damage. But it was dark typing. I got the symbols mixed up. But our opponent's going to end up leading Talonflame just like us. Alongside with Sylveon. Which is a little scary. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. A little scary. Uh, I could choice into... Something good. I could go Tailwind. I could hard swap here as well. Oh, what do I want to do? I might just try to get off a of Rock Slide. Every voice is scary, but I'm going to go for the Rock Slide just to KO onto the uh, Talonflame. Tailwind's going to come out here. I wish we did have Gambit at this point. Gambit into the Sylveon could have been beautiful. It could have been lovely. But we're going to look for a Flinch here. Flinch would be awesome. Rock Slide's going to come out here. Give me a Flinch on the Sylveon. KO and easily onto the Talonflame. It's four times super effective. Then I have Sash, probably the Cover Cloak. And did we get the flinch? We do not get the flinch. But my Annihilate survives. That's a big time eat up. So we eat up. Tailwind's set on both sides. I can go for another Rock Slide. Well, I have to go for another Rock Slide. And I'm thinking I'm just Air Slashing in that Pokemon, having a double flinch chance. Or do I try to go for the Overheat? Do I try to go for the Overheat? Hmm. Options, options, options. Because Overheat might be able to KO that Sylveon. And that could be a big time KO if I could just get rid of both these Pokemon and then have my Houndstone come out here. Because Garchomp's going to also come out on his end. I think both my Pokemon outspeed. I'm thinking I'm doing this because then I could just burn with the Houndstone. 130. I'm thinking we should be fine with this. It's stab too. I'm going to do that. I could go for an EQ. Oh, no, I can't. I have to go for Rock Slide. That's exactly what I'm going to do. No shot. What a play. What a protect by him. Can we get a flinch onto this Garchomp? Can we get a flinch onto the Garchomp? This Garchomp is probably going for an EQ, right? Give me a flinch onto the, onto the Garchomp. Give me a little RNG action. A little bit of RNG for us. Just a tad bit of RNG for us. Just a little bit. Give it to me. We do not get it. Okay, so down goes both my Pokemon. Actually, Annihilate eats. Annihilate eats, and... I think I have to bring out T-Tar here. I could Terrasilize here if I want to. So I might send my Terrasilize with this Pokemon. With the T-Tar. Might have to be my play. Set the Sandstream. We gotta go for another Rock Slide. And... Do I double Rock Slide? So I definitely want Terrasilize. Just get rid of my typing. Um... They're crunching to you. I feel like just burning you eventually. Huh. I think I'm just gonna rock slide here. I'm gonna double rock slide. Let me go for double rock slide. Let's see what he ends up doing. Is he gonna terrestrialize? But again, I do have Houndstone in the back end. Houndstone can potentially win us this match. It's gonna be a close one. Definitely gonna be a close one. We end up terrestrializing this Pokemon just so the fairy typing moves aren't super effective onto us. We know the uh, EQs would still be, but I don't think he, he has a Moxie dropping EQ. We go for a Rock Slide. I think this next Rock Slide should be able to pick up KO. 
Their Garchomp just flinched, right? No. That's scary. Their, uh, their Sylveon flinched. But Houndstone will be able to come out here and outspeed, which is awesome. We KO there. Uh, Houndstone's coming out here with a, a strong chance to KO here. We're going to be able to outspeed. I could burn it, but I'm thinking I'm just straight up attacking it, right? But I think now the move is base 100. But I think when we used it originally, we thought it was 100, but it was actually 50. But I guess we'll find out right now. We have Houndstone ready to go. Ready to go. And I think a last respect should be able to pick up KO on that, I think. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. He has got to go. That Garchomp has got to go. Gyarados is going to come out here, so Rock Slide is definitely our play. Um, hmm. Let's check out the move now. We definitely want to go for Rock Slide here. And then let's check out last respects. Now it's base 50 normally. That's just not do a lot of damage at all. Hmm. I just don't think it did that much damage. Let me see your uh, special attack or your physical attack stat. How high is it? 168. That's not bad. Considering T-Tars is... What's T-Tars? 204. That's 168. Not bad at all. But I'm just going to go for the Rock Slide. 100%. And I'm just going to go into the last respects. I could start burning these Pokemon, but... I feel like we can KO this boy right here. Last respect come out here. We pick up an easy KO. Let's go. Houndstone coming in clutch. I don't think uh, Gyarados can potentially pick up KO onto me. I know you're going to go after Houndstone. That's fine. Houndstone needs. And that's going to be GG's because of that. Maybe thought I was protecting. That's fine. We bring him down to pretty much 1 HP. And Buffett's going to take him out. And there it is, yo. Houndstone coming in that back end. Showing why it's such a strong Pokemon with that last respect. And the Sand Rush as its ability. Recently, we have been dominating with Gen 9 Pokemon. The past three videos, we used Clodsire, Glamora, and now Houndstone, and we are just winning every single battle with these Pokemon. Having a lot of fun, but we have a real challenge on our hands here in battle number three, going up against a straight meta team with Murkrow, Garchomp, Hydreigon, Amoongus, Sylveon, and Golden Go. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I could see Murkrow actually being a lead, so I think I have to counter it out with Tailwind. I have no way of popping Trick Room or anything, so I think Tailwind might be your call, right? Talonflame, and they could bring Sylveon. I don't think they're going to bring Sylveon. I think more of like a dragon Pokemon is going to come out here. So I might need Annihilate just so I can like throw punches and stuff like that around. Um, Golden Go is not too bad here either. It really depends who I want to lead. Who do I want to lead? Because I want that Houndstone combo in the back end. I really do like that. Hmm. So you bring Golden Go. I'm kind of liking Golden Go here. Just to counteract onto that Sylveon. Is this thing a Steel Terror type? I think it is. No, it's Water. I really like that. Kind of counters up onto the uh, Fire Terror Sylveons. I'm all about that. Let's go into that, and then we'll bring the Houndstone T-Tar combo yet again. Loving it. Loving it. Looking for a perfect record for today's video. Having a ton of fun with this team. This team is just absolutely amazing. And it's one of those Sandstorm teams that kind of works backwards. Like, usually, you just lead like the weather, and you kind of get after it when they don't have weather. But for this instance, with Houndstone and Last Respects, you kind of want to bring it in the back end. So, Last Respects is doing a lot more damage. I'm loving it so far. I'm absolutely loving this team. But our opponent's going to end up leading. There's the Murkrow alongside with that lovely little Garchomp. We're going to bring our Tailwind Pokemon. And he could taunt me, right? Or do we get first turns with this? He could definitely taunt me. So I'd rather set up a Tailwind. And I could go for Plot. I could actually Terrasize in the water. So I'm really thinking of doing it. Maybe just Shadow Ball. I could go for Maker Main. I'm just going to Shadow Ball the Garchomp slot. And the reason I am Terrasalizing this Golden Go is because he could freely EQ into me and take me out. So if I Terrasalize into water, we can kind of just up some shots and get after the battle that way. So I'm all about it. I am all about it. Let's see what our opponent wants to do. I can see them Terrasalizing as well into ground. I'm just trying to get rid of my Golden Go. They do not, but my Tailwind comes out here first. Go ahead, go for a Taunt. Go for a Taunt, please. Nope, he's going to match my Tailwind. I think Garchomp outspeeds. And then I Terrasalize? Wait a minute. Okay, I guess for Dragon Call instead. That's fine. That's fine. Good thing I didn't Terrasalize. I thought I Terrasalize. I could have sworn I Terrasalize. I guess I never hit the button. Sometimes I do that. We're going to end up popping that. That's some good damage. That is some good damage. And Talonflame does outspeed. Talonflame does outspeed. And I'm hoping that this Air Slash and KO. Just so I can pop another Shadow Ball into this thing. Or do I just pop Make It Rain? No, I'd rather save Make It Rain for next turn. Actually, foul play can KO me. I think I'm just going to make it rain. Actually, hmm. I could swap Golden Go. I 
could swap Golden Go, but you know what? I'm just gonna protect him. I'm just gonna protect Golden Go. I'm just going to protect my lovely little Golden Go. Air Slash Flying. This is KO. It does indeed. Good work, Talonflame. Talonflame up on the board, getting rid of one of their strongest Pokemon they have. And I think a foul play is coming in here, right? Into my Talonflame. Never mind, I lied. But it just got off a free Shadow Ball. I don't mind it. That's not a bad turn. We just have to start getting after this Murkrow. Because once Tailwind ends, I need that Murkrow gone. We're going to throw out this next Pokemon. It is going to be Hydreigon. And since it being Hydreigon, I, mm, I could see Terrasalizing. Potentially Fire. I have the T-Tar combo in the back. So if it does want to go for that Fire Terra, I'm kind of cool with that. I'm thinking just going for a straight Make It Rain here. Getting off as much damage with my Golden Go as I can at the moment. But yeah, there's the Terrasalization. Again, probably Fire. A lot of Hydreigons are ripping with Fire as of recently. And it is going to be, yeah, Fire. Again, I have T-Tar in the back end. I can Rock Slide that stab super effective. Pick up some big damage onto it. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm all about it. Oh, oh, not Sunny Day. Not Sunny Day. Air Slash still going to fly, but this will make my What's Called do a bit more damage. Oh, Heat Wave. That's a little scary. Luckily, we're changing weather after this, but he can change it right back. Which is even more scary. That is definitely even more scary. Uh, I'm going to have to terrestrialize my T-Tar here into straight fire. I'm going to go here. He's going to sunny day. He's going to take away all my weather, which sucks. It really does suck. He's going to take away all my weather. How dare you? Sand going to kick up, but it makes him waste a turn with that uh, Murkrow. And it's going to make that Murkrow, what's it called? It's going to make that Murkrow go for a sunny day. So we're just going to rock slide here. We're going to try slide in a fire. And we're going to drop an air slash into the Hydreigon as well. Just to pick up some damage and have a flinch chance on it. But yeah, if he doesn't change the weather, that's on him. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a their, that's, that's their problem. <laughs> that's going to be their problem. But yeah, we're going to waste a turn with the Murkrow. It's going to have to definitely pop another sunny day. We are try slide in T-Tar. And I feel like T-Tar is very good with Terrasalization. Like, it can... It does fine with a bunch of different, uh, Terra types. Sunny Day comes out here. We already saw that from a mile away. Air Slash is also gonna fly. Maybe get a flinch. We're hoping for a flinch. We get a crit. Should be flinch, too. No, it drops a Draco Meteor. Can you eat this? He gets a crit as well. Okay, I guess game's just evening out. And that hurts the soul there. I just need it one Rock Slide. I need it one Rock Slide, and they get a crit with a Draco Meteor. That hurts, that hurts. But the game's kind of evening out. He's gonna be able to tail when you're um I think his attack is low. Let's start last respecting, looking for some big time wins. I'm gonna have to overheat with my talent flame. It's definitely tail winning. And last respecting. So we're just gonna go overheat here. I'm gonna have to go for our last respects. Start dropping them in there. You can't even see my houndstone. <laughs> but yeah, tailwind's definitely coming out from the Murkrow. He's trying to keep speed. Trying to keep everything thriving here. I think he's just going to go for a Tailwind and a Heat Wave. We'll see. We'll see, but that's terrible, man. Crit on the Draco Meteor takes out my T-Tar. Like I said, I just need one Rock Slide. That Rock Slide would have landed. We should have been thriving. going to end up hazing. That's a smart play. Real smart play. But, 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 hold up. Overheat's going to be able to come out here. Should be able to pick up the KO, no problem on you. Oh, we don't? We don't? Hold up. Wait a minute. That doesn't pick up KO. That hurts soul. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. I think Houndstone dies after this, right? Houndstone eats. Hold up. Wait a minute. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. His last respects is doing crazy damage. He's the last one on the field. Yeah, he's taken out. Um, I can Shadow Sneak and take out the Murkrow whatever. But the problem is he has speed. Speed is there. Speed is there. Speed is there. <laughs> it's a terrible side for us. And he has one more Pokemon. One more Pokemon. Let's see. It's going to be a Moongus. I have to go for last respects into Moongus first and foremost. Okay, it's Rage Powder. Probably just going for a foul play. Yeah, that's GG's. Maybe he can miss. I don't know. Last respects. How much damage are you doing? Houndstone's ripping. Foul play comes out here. That's going to be GG's. Yeah, that ends it. Really close battle in the end there. We bring both of his Pokemon down to the red. We end up losing... Kind of sucks, but hey, 2-1, we grab ourselves a winning record.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen, two and one record for today's video and dominated with Houndstone. We got Titar and Houndstone out in every single battle, and then we got to showcase the rest of the team. We used Annihilate a little bit, Golden Go a little bit, Talonflame in most battles, and we got to showcase Skelly Dirge in that first battle. But yeah, the Titar and Houndstone combo, really, really strong. I absolutely love it in the back end. You guys seen in the third and final battle how much damage this Houndstone was was doing as it was the last Pokemon. It took out the Hydrogen, brought down the Amoongus all the way down the red, and Amoongus is a very bulky Pokemon. But if we had like one more turn left, we definitely could have won, or a little bit more HP, we definitely could have won that third and final battle. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.